what up guys we're over here at the fishing expo shut this shit off man Bye. go and do some fishing is this on yeah yeah i'm looking today look at the camera <laughs> do i need to use favorite do i need to use big sexy do i need to use red gills which one which one which one leave a comment down below let's go hey guys it's morning we're here at the expo Sitting at the hotel. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Yo, dude, we're gonna go fishing. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Bass and Coffee, guys. We're back. Did you guys miss me or what? But we're back here at the Knoxville fishing at this same pond I fished exactly one year ago. And hopefully, we're gonna catch some fish. We got King Bassin with us from What's last up, year, and we got. What's up, guys? Keep fishing forward here. We're going to slay some toads here, 2020. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We got the whole crew again. We're back in action. You didn't miss me too much, so it's about 30 degrees out here. Around, actually, I got a watch right here. It's 10:55. Let's do some fishing. I'll show you what I got tied on right now. I got a run, I got a runkle, runkle. lipless crank, and I have a Guggen bait, jerk bait. I think it's called the Scout. We're gonna try these and hopefully get on a bite. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. First trip out in 2020. Let's see if we can get 20 fish. I'm just kidding guys. I don't think we're gonna get 20 fish I don't think we're gonna get even one fish today to be honest, but uh, we're gonna try first cast 2020 Got the jerk bait tied on Hopefully we can get on some juice today man. It feels good to be out here fishing Should have did this first before I started fishing. We're actually gonna test the water temp this is a thermometer if you guys do not know what a thermometer is it's something to check the temperature of your turkey because that's what it is a turkey something whatever this is i don't know but it has fahrenheit and celsius we're going to cast it all the way out there and see what the water temp is going to dab it a little bit give it like a maybe 20 seconds in the water let it rise up to the correct temperature. Look at that found a rod. Somebody left this rod behind. Looks like mine. Based off the temperature, I'm gonna try to pick a lure that'll work. Maybe the swim bait, deep diver, crank bait, lipless crank, or maybe even a finesse bait. We'll see. We'll just see what the water temp is. I think that should be good. Should just reel this back in right now. And see what the water temp is water temp is wow guys can you see that i don't know if you can see that but it's below 25 it's below 25 degrees and that is ice cold Whew, that is cold guys that is cold would hate to fall in this water but it looks like we're going to be doing some finesse fishing let's Grab something finessey and hopefully we'll move down there and try to catch a fish. You know what? I'm gonna fish fast. Frick all this finesse fishing, putting on a crankbait. These fish are gonna bite no matter what, so whatever's in their face, they're gonna smack it. Let's go. Let's put on a crankbait. Let's go. We're sick of this. Cranking real slow. This is a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio reel that I'm using. It's going nice and slow. Giving that little subtle action. You will get some debris on your hooks. Just wipe it off real good. And cast it back out there. It's windy. It's freaking cold. It just dropped 10 more degrees. Holy crap. Casting into the wind, letting the bait fish, which is my crankbait, come toward the bank. That's maybe drawing the fish in. I don't know. 
I'm not a scientist or whatever. I don't do much fishing, as you can see, in 2019. Let's go, boys, let's go. Oh gosh, let's go. Let's go, boys. It's on, boys, it's on. Yes, yes, yeah, boys. Let's go. Oh my God. The Runkle crankbait came in in clutch. Let's go. Look at that, guys. Look at that. You do not need to finesse in the cold weather. All you gotta do is just put on a crankbait and crank it, dude. You just gotta crank it, bro. Let's go. Chill, bro. Chill. Chill, chill, chill. Chill, mother fudger. Stop flopping, bro. Stop flopping. Let's get the release on this fish. That's a good looking fish. Let's go. Where's my, where's my handkerchief? It's cold. Yeah. You always gotta be prepared. All right, guys. Signing out. Hope you guys enjoy this little, little video. Waking up in the morning, going fishing. I only caught one fish, but, uh, that's better than none. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell notification too so you know when Bats and Coffee uh, posts another video. Till next time, diving out. Keep fishing forward, let's go. Just another day. Let's go fishing, boys. What is up guys? Bats and Coffee here. We just found another boat ramp in the middle of nowhere. We're gonna try to do some fishing here. I see a bunch of uh, bait fish popping out here. So hopefully we can get on a bite. We got new high speed spool bearings, the upgraded versions in this lose. And we're gonna give it a cast. Damn son. Dude, it's a dead carcass, bro. Dude, I just caught a fish. Bro, I just caught a fish. Dude, look at that dead carcass. What the heck, guys? How bizarre is this? We got a dead deer, and we just caught a little gizzard shad. You know what we're gonna do? Next, we're gonna catch a bass. All right, guys, we're gonna make a move to another location. Oh, shoot, almost tripped. We are moving under the bridge over to another place on this lake. We do not have boat access, so we cannot go out into the open. But there is a boat coming to pick us up. I'm just kidding, there ain't. Just caught a fish off the GoPro with the same crankbait. So I just strapped on the GoPro and I'm hopefully gonna catch another one. What the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> what is that? Did I just get a rock or something, bro? Today, we got something in the mail. The new Red Gills Fishing Backpack. We're gonna call this the P2. Went fishing today, didn't catch anything. So I'm just gonna do a review or a showcase of my brand new backpack. Right here, we got my glasses and all that stuff in there. Got some tackle in this bag. Show you guys. Tackle. You can fit like four tackle boxes in there. Plano boxes. Here we got some protein drinks. And something new that they designed is they took away the pocket that was right here and included a water bottle or drink holder right there. That comes in handy really good. The previous backpack, the P1. We couldn't fit a Gatorade bottle or anything on the side pockets, so that's good. And over here we got my Guggen Baits. Gotta carry some Guggen Baits. That's what the backpack looks like. It's pretty dope. Still got the red inside, red gills. Oh, up here is a waterproof case. It's got my batteries and electronics in there. And let's see what else I got in there. It's like a piece of Guggen Bait right there. This rod 
fits right there. You just throw it in there. It just stays right there when you're walking. And this this design is pretty pretty cool. I like this design better than the other one that they had. What's in this bag? Oh, this is my thermometer, my GoPro charger, my battery charger, some toilet paper so I can wipe my butt, and a handkerchief for when I catch fish. Just wipe my hands. And that's pretty much it about that. Oh shoot, I fell in a ditch. On this side, we still got the original design. Got the lock strap around your chest so it doesn't fall off very comfortable backpack to wear all freaking day like this backpack right now weighs about I'd say 20 pounds but it feels good on your back doesn't feel oh what the heck is this hold on I just found a lure heck yeah what is this a fluke I'm gonna keep that and they got this side pocket right here where you just throw whatever in there so I'm just gonna throw this lure, this random lure I found in there. Continuing on, we have up here it's for glasses, for like sunglasses. I have my scale and my knife, which is broken. And I think that's about it. You can definitely fit more things in there. As you can see, I got another camera and my other camera gear, GoPro, all in there. And you still got space, so. This backpack is amazing. Check that out. You put this rod by it. Does that not look good? Anyways, guys, link down in the description. Go check these out. It's a dope backpack. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button for me, and uh, go check out Red Gills. Dope backpack. You cannot beat this backpack. Go check them out. Let's go. See you in the next Bass and Coffee episode.